Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 154 alongside John McDessie, who picked up a big win tonight over Sam Stout and his striking coach, Angelo DiBello. And guys, congratulations on a huge performance. Uh, your jab looked fantastic. I'm sure Angelo will tell you all about that. We'll get to him in a second. How happy are you with this win, especially in your hometown of Montreal? Well, first of all, I just want to thank God for everything. Um, I went through a lot of up and downs. Obviously, my coaches, my family, and all the support. Uh, if, it wasn't for, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to fight. Um, you know, I, I trained very hard for Sam Stout. I knew it was a big fight uh, coming from two losses. And uh, I just wanted to go out there and prove to everyone that I'm one of the best fighters in the world. What kind of ups and downs are we talking about here? Uh, you know, uh, just my head. Uh, you know, MMA is, is a, you know, it's a, it's a complex sport. You know, there's a lot of uh, aspects to the sport. And, you know, it just... Uh, you know, it's it's a roller coaster ride. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm just very fortunate to be uh, <coughs> around the great good people. Angelo, John specifically asked for you to be in this interview. Obviously, you're a big part of what he does. What do you think of his performance? I thought it was a great performance coming off you know the past two fights that he had. Uh, it was just teaming up with Filaz and coming up with a game plan to beat Sam Stout. Sam Stout is he's been there a long time. He's like it's, for John, it's like winning a Canadian title. Sam Stout being the top Canadian in a long time, for a long time. So for John getting the victory, it puts him higher in the UFC world rankings. John, you seem uh, a little emotional right now. What, 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 are, you, what are you feeling? I just, this is my life. This is my dream. This is all I think about. This is a true fighter. <laughs> this is a true fighter. That's all he does. Eats, sleeps, trains, and fights. What did he do in this fight that he didn't do in the last two fights? What do you do better this time? Well, I mean, you know, styles make fights. I mean, uh, I, I think that he was concentrating on the negative things in the past, like maybe getting stronger uh, since the loss to Holman. And uh, maybe he thought maybe he had to, you know, do weights and uh, eat differently and all that stuff and not follow his, you know, Firaz and, you know, and, and myself. And, but now, he went, you know, we went to, to the table. We spoke with Firaz. We, we said, you know what, we came up with a game plan. This is a tougher fight than Andrew Kawani. And, uh, you know, he came out on top. I mean, he just changed his whole training, his whole thinking. He had a lot of help with this fight. He had a lot of people helping him. And that's what a true fighter needs. You know, they need, they're doing this as a profession. They need true help, you know, with, with nutrition and all. You know, the jab is one of those underutilized tools in MMA. You don't see a lot of guys use it well, like in boxing. Right. Talk about his jab and why it's so effective. His jab is, is effective because it, it's almost like, it's like a counter jab, like a counter. He, he lets the, the opponent miss and then he lets him pay. So he comes back with it. Uh, we were looking for the double jab because he has that great as well. But uh, I mean, his jab is effective because it's more of a counter punch than anything else. And he loves, he, he, he likes it a lot and he utilizes it a lot. John, you know, you, you talked this week about working with a coach about getting the mental side of the game down. Do you feel like you've conquered that? Oh, yeah, it was very tough. Um, Brian Kane, um, a, a sports psychologist, works with a lot of athletes. Uh, he's been awesome. He was, he's been very helpful, and I just, I just had to keep reminding myself about, you know, <clears throat> try not to focus too much on the outcome and uh, just not make the pressure get to me, and just focus on the present and the process. And uh, you know, it, it's a constant. It's, it's like it's like when you're working a bicep or when you're working a jab. You know, I, I underestimated my mind, and you have to, if not work your mind as much as you work physically, and and that for me, I believe that was my biggest problem was my head, you know. I, I was lacking confidence and uh, I knew if I knew if I'm, if I'm relaxed and I'm 100% confident, I know I can beat anybody. Now that you look so good and you got the win, do you feel like you can relax a little bit and exhale out here? I mean, look, I won the battle, you know, I still haven't won the war and uh, I'm, I'm very grateful and I'm very honored to fight a guy like Sam Stout. He's, he's, an, he's an amazing fighter, he's a veteran. I respect him a lot. And I'm just, you know, I'm happy I can, you know, I, you know, relax my family, my coach, and get back to the gym and just get better as a martial artist. And finally, the UFC is returning to Montreal in March. Would you like to fight on that card, or do you maybe want to fight elsewhere? Maybe there's too much pressure fighting here. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I love fighting in my hometown. I don't really look at his pressure. I, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's what's better than fighting in your backyard? I love fighting for my home crown, my home, my home uh, town, my country, my fans, and I was born here. I'm, I was born in Nova Scotia. I'm a Canadian, and I love fighting in Canada. All right, John. Well, congratulations to you, Angelo. Congratulations to you as well. Thank Looking you. forward to your just, next one. I just want to thank all my sponsors, my head coach, Fraz Abbey, Angelo Dabala, Phil Nurse, Brian Kane, FTF Fear the Fighter. is a good brand. I'm, I'm, uh, I was the inspiration behind it. 
a Fear of Fighter. There's a lot of guys who, who are are supported by FTF. Roger. I want to thank all my sponsors. Uh, you know, Hector, 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 Hector Castro, and everybody in my team that helps me out. I just want to thank everybody. Thank you so much. Congrats, guys. Thank